So, with all of the side quests now taken care of here in Mordsuk, it's time to get back onto the main story. Let's speak with Kassard, not Gengen, Kassard, and take on his level 70 main story quest entitled, Working Off the Meal. Kassard is impressed by your gastronomic fortitude. <laughs> you have courage, my friend. Ronron's wares are more exotic than harmful, but I don't envy you the bellyache you'll have on the morrow. Right, now that you've eaten, I expect you're eager to get back on the road. Would you mind if we delayed our departure a touch? I have a few deals left to close before I conclude con con yeah, before I can conclude my business here in Mold Souk. That's quite a tongue twister. No one gets my skewers. <laughs> oh, offering his services, are you? Well, an assistant would certainly help hurry things along. I have a seat here for some goods that need picking up from the market. All properly paid for, you just need to do the lifting and carrying. I'll go and take care of some last minute haggling then. See you in a bit. Yeah, I guess people wanted to go French style and take the frog legs. You may view the market receipt at any time during this quest by using the relevant item in the key items menu. So yeah, what exactly are we getting for him? A table cactus from Tauntaun. Iron Ore from Toll Toll, and Nabath Orang Antiques, Mill Mill, to be collected from Mul Mul. Alright, so now that we know who we need to speak with, let's go ahead and find the people. So we're not taking Ron Ron's Cured Leather. And then as we go along, make our way further along. Yeah, we have a stack of crated armaments, but we don't need those from Latgar. You know, we're just gonna keep going around until we see what we need. So yeah, we have the stack of Hermo Remedies from Tauntaun. So yeah, we can pick this up. Yeah, we now gotta pe collect the box of antiquities from Mool Mool. Okay, what he's got. Yeah. Not touching! That merchandise is broken for! You can't possibly change my mind with the Batarafa. Oh, that's because we're picking this up. For someone else. What? Kassad sent you? Why didn't you say so? I wouldn't dream of selling his goods to a higher bit. Oh, no, no, no! Nabatha rang Renax, was it? All packed up in that box there. Handle with care. Yeah, and it dawned on me I never spoke properly to the first guy. So, my apologies on that. So yeah, the last person we need to speak with is going to be somewhere around here, I believe. Yeah, actually not all that far from where we started. At least it shouldn't be that far from where we started. Because, yeah, they're standing outside a city gate. But, yeah, I think I may have walked past them initially. Yeah, we have Bun Bun and his chest of perishables, but we don't need those. Yeah, where was our guy? He wasn't out by this gate. Yeah, passing by the cure leather, passing by the armaments. Where's our mort of interest? Yeah, also not taking the full water jar in the back. Yeah, here they are. Here's Toll Toll. So we're picking up the crate of ore. And once we do... Kassad sent you, did he? Right. Yes, what kind of ore was it again? In this case, it's iron ore. Iron ore, of course. That would explain this box I have here. It's all yours. And just like that, we're done. Also, I should probably take some time to mend a little. Even though I don't really need to. But hey, better safe than sorry. Alright, so let this, let's get this all back to Kassard. 
Hey there, big man. Don't tell me been around the entire market already. Well, it took a little while, but we got it. Ah, uh, that's a lot, all right. Good work. And quick work, too, considering you've not set foot in the place before. I thought you'd want in the city to s want to sit in the city like the Exarch, but something tells me you're not a stranger to visiting strange lands. Unfortunately, your efficiency presents something of a problem. I'd hoped to conclude all my business before you return, but it seems there's been some confusion over one of the orders I place. So are we going to be asked to do about it? I'll have to drag in my middle man and sort this mess out. I'm sorry to make you sit around and twiddle your thumbs. Cassad? It feels like an age since I last saw you. Yeah, we have this young lady coming to join us. Hello there. Well, if it isn't the lovely Tesline, it has been a while, but your timing couldn't be better. This gentleman was on his way to me with Alice. I'm supposed to be taking him to your corner of the desert, but a misplaced order has commandeered my attention. Yeah, hello there. Wait, I know who you are. How? Alice has told me so much about you. You're Shinji, aren't you? She actually knows who I am? Yeah, like what? How could you possibly know? I knew it! How wonderful to meet you in the flesh after hearing all those stories! Yeah, I guess she, I guess she probably told, um, Alice told her about the prisoner exchange. I'm Tesleen. I work as a carer at the inn, and I've gotten to know Alice quite well since she took up guard duties there. Do you want me to take over as Shinji Sky Kassad? My shopping's all done and packed for the road, so it'll be no trouble. That would be a great help, thank you. Well, it looks like you'll be able to head straight out after all. My caravan and I will be in the area for a while yet. Seek me out when you've had your fill of armor and I'll send you back to the Crystarium. Alright. And so we get more experience in Gil, plus the White Oak Hand Gear Copper. So yeah, we're getting a lot of these. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, open up these coffers. Yeah, like I said, we're not going to be using any of this stuff. Yeah, it'll all eventually get sold off to other people who might want to use them. Okay, so, now let's go ahead and speak with our new friend Tezlin to take on the level 70 main story quest entitled, A Desert Crossing. Tesline is eager to set off. Alice has been desperate to see you, Shinji, so let's get you to her sooner rather than later. The inn isn't too hard to find, really. You can actually see the top of the rock spires from here. We just need to swing around the ridge, then head south. Come on, or get my supplies together and meet you outside. So she's on her way. Also, you may have noticed as well... A chain quest is now opened up here in Mordzuk, but we're going to leave it for later. It has an Aether Kern, but we're going to save it for the time being. Now, we're going to save it until the point that we get more side quests spawning in the area we're going next. Hi, right, Tesleen. All set? Oh, I should probably mention the wildlife. While most of them will leave you if you keep your distance, the local coyotes have learned to prey on folk heading home from the markets. Probably they smell meat or something. I can usually swing a sword well enough to fend them off, but I may have loaded myself down with too many bargains today. Do you think you can handle any beasts that try to make a meal of us? I believe I can. I thought you might. Alice was always saying how much, um... Uh, I mean, let's get going, shall we? Yeah, she probably doesn't want to know about the finer details. And so away we go. Yeah, and it didn't take long for Tesleen to end up being caught in the crossfire. So let's go ahead and defend her. Yeah, over here. 
Yeah, we're gonna take you out, Wandering Coyote. Yeah, you're gonna end up turning into Wily Coyote. Yeah, by your own hubris, you are undone. And now we have to fight off this Sambo who decided to step in. Well, no matter, you're gonna lie to you. Now take that! Finish it off, there we go. Alright, Tazneen, all taken care of. Sorry, there wasn't much time to shout a warning. Were you bitten? Those things can be nasty. And yet hardly a match for you, it seems. I always thought Hanisei was strong, but in her mind, she was never... Hmm, now it makes sense. Uh, well, we should push out on. We should push on. It might be best if you scout ahead and clear out any coyotes that have our scent. I'll wait here so you can fight without any distractions. Probably a good idea. So let's continue on then. Yeah, driving out in the desert wilderness. Yeah, up and over the hills, down the ridges, trying to get to where we need to go next. And likely gonna have to fight off more wildlife. Yeah, cause everything's so close together here. Wow, that same will turn away, I'm shocked. But anyway, let's fight these two coyotes. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna get hit. Thankfully it doesn't hurt that much. Because my equipment is all up to snuff and where it's supposed to be. Alright, you're down. And now it's gonna be your turn very soon. Now load up and take him out. There we go. Now we gotta go back to Tesline. Yeah, she's not gonna do much attacking while holding a heavy crate of various provisions. And hey, look, we have another Aether Current. Let's go ahead and t attune to this one, or try to anyway. As we have a new viewer joining us, Ed Davidson. Welcome to Let's Play No Raw Autism. Welcome to the stream, glad to have you with us tonight. Yes, a um, couple months ago, Final Fantasy XV um, was featured in a special quest line. You got to um, team up with Noctis and do a various series of quests. And as a reward for doing some of the tasks with him, you got the car that he drove. So let's go ahead and speak with Tesline. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I could hear the howling and snarling from here. Frightful creatures. Let's hope the rest of you, let's hope the rest have seen your handiwork and know to avoid us now. I need to get these supplies back to the inn. Alright, so now, away we go, once again. Yeah, we get to ride Noctis's very own regalia to our next destination. While also weaving around the local wildlife again. Thankfully, this car is quite durable. Too bad it's really slow. But at least we get to enjoy the country theme that is associated with it, which seems so weird for a prince to be of a kingdom to be driving around while listening to country music. It just sounds so weird. Hi, right, Tesleen. This is it. Thanks to you, I didn't have to drop my shopping even once. Come to think of it, I'm glad I didn't make the trip alone. It seems you ended up escorting me. I'll have to repay the favor somehow, but first let's head inside, shall we? Alright, so in she goes. And we got a cutscene. Yeah, new players can't get it, unfortunately. Not until they make it available in DLC, probably about in a year from now. Yeah, they usually leave special um, events, items, for cross-promotion events um, in DLC once the window of opportunity closes. They usually wait a year after it's over to make it available in DLC. Welcome to the Inner Journey's Head. You might be our first visitor from the Crystarium since Alice arrived. It's not much, but it's home for the afflicted and a handful of carers. 
be afflicted, or this illness isn't contagious, is it? Yeah, can you tell us about the illness? Contagious? Well, no, not as far as we know. I don't think I've met anyone besides Alice who is so unfamiliar with our situation here. Most folk have grown up knowing someone who knew someone. Yeah, why is that? Hmm, I might leave out something obvious, so it may be best to have Alice give you the full explanation. And so with that, we'll take our experience in Gil. And so yeah, let's go ahead and settle in in here. Yeah, let's settle in here at the inn. But since we have reached a new place where there is an Aetherite, we'll go ahead and attune to it before we move on. So we'll get this taken care of and out of the way. And with that done, let's now move on to take on Tesnine's next main story quest entitled, Following in Her Footprints. Tesdine casts her gaze around the inn, hoping to spot Alice. Now where is she? Yeah, we gotta figure this out. Hmm, I think she might be us on patrol. You could wait, I suppose, but why not go and surprise her? She usually takes a look at things from the watchtower first, so you might be able to catch her there. It's not far. Head out to the south side and you'll soon see it. I'll stay behind in case she comes back while you're gone. Did I just hear vultures? Yeah, I could have sworn I almost heard vultures uh, as we were finishing talking with Tesline there. Yeah, now we're heading down towards another massive and impressive structure from a time long forgotten. So yeah, the place we want to go to is over there, but we also see an Aether Current very obviously staining out in the wide open. What armor am I using? Um, well, this um, glamour is the um, version 1.1 of the initial Dragoon armor that you get from doing the Dragoon's job quest. But other than that, everything I have is item level 400, obtained and enhanced at Royal Guard's Reach, which is in Stormblood. Actually, it's the level 50 Worm set there, Shima. The Draken set is a Stenian suit of armor, which was the black stuff. So let's go ahead and check out the vicinity, and also the crystalline formations that are all around us. Alice is nowhere to be seen, but you spot fresh footprints on the ground, and they look to be about the right size. Yeah, in fact, there are more footprints right next to it. And so, let's keep on looking. And see where these footprints keep going. As we continue further and further northwest, trying to avoid these Gilman zombies. Yeah, the Walking Dead exists around here. And they all want a piece of me, apparently. Alright then, if you insist, we shall oblige you. Yeah, you're going down. Oh, and apparently we had one run off. Yeah, I guess we scared him away. He realized what he was up against and he decided he wasn't going to stand up for his friend. How do I have 56k HP? That's just, um, because of the stats in my equipment. All of your stats are gonna give you, um, various stats including strength, vitality, determination, and direct hit rate, and critical hit rate. Vitality is what determines your HP. So because my vitality currently stands at 3,520, that ultimately results in a translation of a number of points for my HP at over 56,000. Alright, so, yeah, hopefully that explanation helped there, Ed. As we continue to wave our way through the zombies, you find more footprints to look at. Now, in fact, I know that there's a specific formula for um, the number of points 
um, that you get for each the number of HP for each point of vitality you have. There are more tracks here, but they end in a mess of disturbed sand. Well, thankfully we went into cutscene before we were attacked by the zombie. So let's see if we can find her. Yeah, as we also get to see not only the crystals, but also the buildings that got consumed by them. We hear something. Get back here! Yeah, we know that voice. Alice, to the rescue! Is that... It can't be. Oh, trust me, Alice, it's not a mirage. Ha! Yeah, Alice versus the Sin Eater. And now to say prevails. That was quite impressive. Yeah, impressive there, isn't it? Yeah, job well done. Your red mage training has Just worked a lesser out. Sin -eater. Nothing to write home about. <laughs> I knew you'd turn up sooner or later, but I had been hoping for sooner. Yeah, everyone feels that way, I'm quite sure. Well, out with it. I mean, you can't just stare at the Sin Eater eroding away. How are you? Well, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've seen better days, but let's catch you up on everything that's happened while you've been gone. We fought them to a standstill then. Yes, we did. Yeah, we're talking about the Guardians, by the way. The Exarch did say that the Empire seemed to have drawn back when he last looked in on the Source. But without knowing for sure how fast time was passing there, I couldn't help worrying that a lot might have happened since then. I'm heartily relieved to hear that it hasn't, just as Alphano must have been. As you can imagine, both he and Orianger were desperate to hear the news from home when I arrived. Oh, of course. I haven't actually seen Thancred and Yishtola yet, but they will have heard all the latest developments from the Exarch by now, or should have at least. Oh, you haven't even seen them either? When I think of how frantic Tataru and the others must be, I want nothing more than to rush back and reassure them. You are not alone. But we still haven't found a way to reverse the summoning. And even if we had, we couldn't just ignore Uriange's vision. Yeah, that thing. He may use ten words where one would suffice, and they may often obscure as much as they reveal. But on this matter, he was as clear as day. I do not doubt for one moment that he saw what he claims. Yeah, and I believe you on that too. Nor how difficult it must have been to speak about them. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and your death aren't exactly topics for idle conversation. Oh yeah. As much as I might want to go home, I don't want to go home to that. We can't allow the rejoining to happen, which means we have to save the first from the Sin Eaters. Yes, indeed. That great wall of white is a remnant of the Flood. A hundred years ago, the balance in the first tipped decisively in favor of light. From that moment, it rose and swelled with each passing day, and then, without warning, it burst forth like water from a broken dam. Yeah, and we know how that was caused. A colossal wave of pure light, drowning everything in its wake. Only Norvrant was spared. For the most part, living things are composed of ether of various different aspects, but when exposed to such a flood, their etheric harmony is shattered, and their natural form breaks down. And thus? Then they either perish, or are warped into mindless abominations. Yeah, not a pleasant the feeling, is it? Yes, that's how the Sin Eaters came to be. They were once living creatures, or people that were caught in the path of the Flood. Once the change is wrought, 
There is no going back. Sad face. In that instant, they are gripped by an insatiable appetite for ether and will happily gorge themselves on any living thing within reach. But even that is not the worst of it. The stronger sin eaters can plant light in us, like seeds in soil, corrupting our ether and triggering the birth of new monstrosities. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen to us. They are creatures of base instinct that exist only to feed and to multiply. They feel no pity, know no remorse, and are utterly deaf to reason, which is why they must be destroyed. Every last one of them. Yeah, we got that the determined The infirmary luck. is full of the Sin Eater's victims, left here to spend their final hours waiting for the change to overtake them. Yeah, not exactly a comforting thought, is it? Anyway, are we still fighting? Nope, it must- this guy must have fought him off for us. Let's go and speak with Alice. It's just a matter of time. More for some, less for others. Those patients will all become monsters in the end. And to add insult to injury, the afflicted are feared, shunned, cast out of society and exiled here to the edge of the world. The only good thing I have to say about this hellish place is that it has served me well as a training ground. Tesnin and the others have also been kind enough to share their knowledge of the Sin Eaters. Which is knowledge I can now share with you, while you help me finish my patrol of course. Alright, I believe we can do that. Also, before we move on to our next quest, much appreciating the upgraded look for Alice say because, yeah, the dreary brown outfit that she was wearing in Heaven's Ward and Stormblood yeah, that was just so ugly. This is a much welcome change for her, and I'm happy to see her wearing something like this. So, let's go ahead and speak with Alice to take on the level 70 main story quest entitled, Culling Their Ranks. Alice would have you help her finish her patrol. Here's what we'll do. I'll take the east side of the inn and you clear the west. That way you can have an undiluted experience with the resident terrors. These marks on your map are where the usual trouble spots are. You can assume that any beast with a white hide or carapace is a Sin Eater, but you'll know for sure soon enough when they come slaving after your ether. Remember, it's kill or be killed with these monsters. Yeah, and all of a sudden we think we're flowy. Once you've slain whatever's prowling around out there, we can rendezvous back at the north entrance. Good hunting. And away we go. And the first one's not all that far away. Also, thank you for taking care of that lizard for me. That allows me to check this area to see if any Sin Eaters appear. There is one. A Forgiven Cowardice. So yeah, let's go ahead and deal with them. Yeah, yeah, you call that tender love? That does not look like tender love to me. Not by a long shot. Yeah, with a little help from this Mage Mike Magic Mike, we got the kill. Yeah, let's show some appreciation. Yeah, I guess now he'll want us to help him. Which we can oblige on. Because, yeah, it looks like we're going to be doing the same quest at the same time. And... there we go. Right, onward. Well, given that we're currently doing the same quest, I imagine we'll be fighting a Sin Eater further down the line. Especially if we possibly find one over here. But this spot's clean. So let's move on to the next one. But we may have to take down this set of man toys in order to gain access to the spot. Nope, it'll be the same wolf, probably. Nope, we don't even have to fight him. Oh, now we got another person coming into the same quest. 
Yeah, he'll fight the same old for us while we take on this. Yeah, let's get these guys all disposed of. The more Sin Eaters we can kill, the better. Yeah, and that is not some tender loving care by any means. Alright, now his spawns. Does Baleo Yum Yum. <laughs> For he's going to marry Yum 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 Yum. And down. Alright, let's reconnect with Alisei. So yeah, it looks like she went back over to the inn. So we'll reunite with her there. That's indeed where she is. Oh, she's standing right in front of it, actually. B rank Worm of the Well, we, I cannot say that we have. Alright, I say. How did you fare? Well, this is what happened. Oh, I thought there might be one or two looking in the fringes. Nothing out of the ordinary for this area. I expect you notice it yourself, but individually, these lesser sin eaters are no more deadly than any natural predator you might encounter in the desert. It's when they appear in numbers that they pose a threat. Much like the void sense, they have an unfortunate tendency to flock to the strongest of their kind. Thus, when a powerful sin eater goes on the hunt, it might be attended by a veritable swarm of weaker kin. Imagine an army of such creatures descending on a village or hamlet. That's the basic idea behind my patrols. To call their ranks often enough that their numbers will be overwhelming when the big ones come out to play, and you've certainly helped on that front. Let's report our victories to Tesleen, shall we? Indeed, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so going back on in. And once we're united, we'll seek with Tesleen to complete the challenge. Alice tells me you helped out on her patrol. You have our thanks and my apologies for leading you from one battle to another ever since the moment we met. In any case, I'm glad to see the two of you found each other. You have no idea how badly Alice has missed your company. Everything is always, if Shinji were here, he would... That's an exaggeration, and I don't sound like that either. I was simply trying to view matters from another perspective, and I respect Shinji's methods. Even if they were... Forged in the heart of the Guardian Empire? <laughs> Honestly, after seeing him in action, I can understand why. The way he leaves into the fray without hesitation, it really is something to behold. I might be a little smitten myself. Yeah, like what? Yeah, it's not gonna work out between you and me. I'm only teasing, though I've no doubt he deserves all the admiration he gets, just as you do. So we'll go ahead and take the 460,000 experience, the gill, plus a white gear, white oak headgear coffer. And so with that, new side quests have opened up here at the inn at Journey's Head. But we are going to go ahead and call things here for tonight. Given that we've now reached this milestone and have found Alice successfully here at the inn at Journey's Head, we can proceed to go ahead and get ready for whatever comes next. So it's certainly been a very eventful first day here for Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers Live. Coming to the first world, meeting with the Crest of the Lexark, meeting with Alphano, meeting with Alice, and getting to meet some unsavory characters over in Yulmore. It's certainly been quite a day, and I'm glad all of you guys could come out to support me on this. And certainly we will continue this tomorrow morning at... Oh, I'm Hopefully I'm going to get on around 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um pending whatever happens with me trying to upload and edit more stuff, but we'll see how it all unfolds. But hopefully we'll see you guys again then, and we will continue on with the journey. So, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching Day 1 of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers Live. See you guys back here tomorrow morning as we continue on here in Amarang as we help out Alice with her pursuit of bringing down the Sin Eaters. So, thank you very much everyone for watching, and until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Nabora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.